How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor. We're here for another Wi-Fi battle video. Alrighty then. So today's battle video we're facing with my sibling, Brett. Yet again, but we're going to be trying out some different Pokemon today. First of all, I want to try out Mega Sceptile. I wanted to get a good match with him. I've had a lot of trouble with getting the right battle with a certain Mega. Um, afterwards, we're going to try out Mega Lopunny, then after that we'll try out Mega Beagle. So, expect some new Megas in the next few uploads here. Um, along with Sceptile here, I have um, physically based Greninja. Greninja is Scarfed Adamant. Um, I have an expert belted um, electivire to give a little bit of um, electric and water synergy there. Choice band, bouffant, um, defensive, claygall, and then we have specially defensive forges. And on my opponent's side here, we've got a good amount of Pokemon that are relatively threatening with Blaziken. Garchomp and Megagross, which could go Mega. But I do have a solution for those guys, so... Um, I didn't know what he was going to begin with, so we're going to begin with my Scarf Agament Greninja Slick. Let's go for a U-turn to break the Skirty ability that he might have. I was a little bit surprised to find that he has Spice on his um, Fortress. Which, I have Rapid Spin on my Clay Golf, so I wasn't worried. Here I go into Electivire, expecting a bug type move, but he goes for spikes, like I say. Um, so knowing that he's going to go for another layer of spikes, we're going to switch out <laughs> into Clay Golf. I figured he might switch out, so we're going to set up Stealth House with Barclay. And this is going to work out. Uh, he stays in again. He shows me payback, which I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. But I am defensive, so I can live a lot of attacks from this thing. Um, I should mention that my opponent isn't into EV train. He did EV train a little bit, but not a lot. So we're finally able to go for rapid spin. Uh, he goes for another payback, and that hurt. So we have to, you know, I was thinking, should I switch out or should I stay in? I decided to stay in just because, like, Quiggle did his job here. I got rid of his spikes and I got up a few screens and put up my own stall fox. So, Barclay, you did a good job in this match. Alrighty then, with that said, um, we're going to go back into Electivire. Just go for a fire punch, really. I could just gone for a full switch, expecting a switch here, but my opponent doesn't know that I have Fire Punch, so it's okay to do that kind of thing. Um, Blaziken comes out now, and I have full switch. I was going to keep that a little bit safe there until now. Here I reveal it to him, I have full switch. So we're going to get out of there. Let's go to Forges, and uh, since I'm fully invested in special defense. I'm not going to take a, uh, a lot from that, but I have Reflect, so Reflect is going to help me out a lot right here. So this will give me a good opportunity here to go for the Wish and Protect, just to get that HP back. I do waste a few turns on the, um, on the Reflect there, but it's okay. I see him going for a Brave Bird, which, hmm, this does a good amount to my Forges. Um, like I said, I am specially defensive, but I have the Reflect up. And we're finally able to go for that Moon Blast and we take out Blaziken, which is fantastic. I was expecting him to Mega Evolve, but it turns out that it's his uh, Mega Mega set goes Mega. Wow, that was kind of weird, but anyway. Um, Electros comes in. Electros is going to be um, checked by my Sceptile here after I go Mega. 
Here I get hit by a thunder wave and that sucks that she was staying in. But, um, guys, I am going to go for aromatherapy with my forces. I'm not going to reveal to him yet. I'm going to keep it as a secret. I can probably go for aromatherapy later and then we can hopefully use Trey Fortego later on. But I decided to stay in and just go for a Dragon Pulse. I know he has Superior. And so, um, here we get a little bit of a, you know, going for a Leech Seed doesn't affect and I get paralyzed moment in the match. Uh, yeah, Grass types are not going to be affected by that. So, knowing that he's going to probably go for, I don't know, um, Sapsipper? Yeah, I get it after the Slam attack. But I guess my opponent didn't know that I had Sap Sipper. And this is going to work out great because I take out Superior. I don't take that much recoil. I still have a plus one attack boost. Now here's where things get a little bit complicated here in the match, guys. I have the Mega Miracles to deal with, which um I am choice banded. I don't feel like switching out to take a hit from that thing because that... Megos, when it's in its mega form, it's very powerful. So, I decided to stay in here and I, I, uh, just not gonna take that hammer arm. It's just, that kind of shows you how strong Megos is. Um, I figured I could go for a night slash right here with Slick, but you see how defensively bulky Megos is. I get smacked by a hammer arm, and that's not looking too good here. So basically, Miracles takes out two of my Pokemon. He's running train on my team here. But I am faster with my Electivire. I could have gone for a Fire Punch, but I guess Earthquake's a little bit stronger in this instance. Um, so we're able to take out Miracles. Perfect. Now, um, Garchomp is out here. I've got to put a little bit of damage in here so that way my Mega Sceptile can give it a little bit of a range kill at the end of this match. I get attracted here, which is pretty funny. I don't, I, I don't have, I have no say in this. Uh, but we're gonna try to get out of there. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't quite work out. So he's going to take out my Electivire. And that's pretty funny, in my opinion. But this will give me a good opportunity to bring back in Forges and I could have gone for aromatherapy here, but at the same time it's like Garchomp could go for another earthquake. Um he brings back in Elachos, but I'm okay with that. We're gonna go for a moon blast right here. Hopefully we can get a special attack drop. But I don't get it unfortunately. You never get that. I don't know why. But here I reveal to him that I have aromatherapy as he goes for a thunder wave. So I would probably say that I would prefer Forges getting paralyzed than my uh, Mega Sceptile. I have um, a Citrus Berry here on my Forges. As I get paralyzed, no big deal. Knowing that he's going to probably go for another Thunderbolt, we're going to switch out into my Mega Sceptile to get the Lightning Rock Boost, which is the ability that Mega Sceptile gets. I get it perfect. That means I can basically take care of my opponent here with Dragon Pulse. That was a fun match here. I really enjoyed it. I'll hopefully get some more matches in in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and please subscribe to get more merry Wi-Fi battles as I post them in the week. So we take care of Garchomp and we take out you like us as well, the leaf storm. Alright, you guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys on Saturday with another daily upload. And until then, have a great week. Alright, bye now.